we are happy to introduce you to the Sojuro Telemedicine Kit. The kit is equipped with a number of devices, including the otoscope, which is a wireless device, a dermoscope, which is also a wireless device for the Sojuro for COVID kits. Then we have irisoscope, which is a wired device. Next is a digital stethoscope to convey the sounds from the heart and lungs of the patient. The next device is a vital signs monitor, which helps you measure number of vital signs and transmit to the physician. The kit also comes with a power bank. It comes with a wireless keyboard and a mouse. It also comes with an infrared thermometer, a blood pressure cuff, which goes with the vital signs monitor, and number of other accessories which are necessary to measure vital signs on the vital signs monitor. There is also a tablet and a wireless transmitter that allows the wireless devices to connect to the tablet and the hub which helps connect different devices. During a live consultation, at a new patient, they can measure vital signs using a vital signs monitor. You can turn it on and hook up the vital signs monitor with your tablet. As you can see, once the vital signs monitor is turned on, a Bluetooth sign is beeping. You can open the software of Bluetooth monitor. And connect the probe for pulse oximeter. When you put your finger in the probe, it gives you a number of different measures, which include your pulse rate and your SpO2. Look at the available appointment slots and book an appointment. When the appointment is clicked, you can connect with a remote physician for a live consultation. During a live consultation, you can connect the wireless devices just as shown on the screen. As you can see currently, a dermatology camera has been connected. And a skin image can be seen both at the patient end as well as the physician end. In a similar fashion, the autoscope can also be connected by putting a nozzle on top of the autoscope, turning it on, and using the same transmitter that was used for your dermatology camera. When the autoscope is turned on, 
image is visible both on the patient as well as the physician's end. When the otoscope is used in the patient's ear, the physician at the remote end can see the image and make a diagnosis. An irisoscope is connected through the USB cable. Turn on the switch for irisoscope. Put the iris scope on the eye of the patient. You can see that the image will be visible both at the patient and the physician's ends. Next, you turn on the vital signs monitor. You can see the blinking Bluetooth sign, which shows that it is connected to the tablet. The blood pressure cuff and the SpO2 probe are worn by the patient. You turn on the software already uploaded on your tablet for the vital signs monitor. And you can see that all the vitals are shown on the software on the screen. your blood pressure, your SpO2, and the heart rate are all shown both on the device as well as the tablet. Your digital stethoscope can also be connected with the Sojro software for transmitting heart and lung sounds. There are two aux cables that can be connected. The top one is for the headphones. The remote health provider can listen to the patient's sounds. Whereas an aux cable is connected on the side slot for aux cable and that goes into the tablet so you can see that the patient sounds can be connected to the tablet and all these stethoscope sounds can be heard by the physician at the remote end. Your digital stethoscope can also be connected via Bluetooth. You can put the Bluetooth on the side aux cable just where the aux wire was connected and also turn on the Bluetooth on your tablet. Select the right Bluetooth device. Now when the stethoscope is placed on patient's chest, the sounds can easily be transmitted. Ultrasound is also connected the same way. The probe has a USB cable that can be connected 
to the USB hub and the software is turned on on the tablet. Ultrasound image shown on the screen, which can be shared with the physician through the screen sharing function.